So today's lesson is going to be a transitional lesson on the D flat major chord and how it's used very heavily by uh, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, uh, famous producers, legends in, in music, not just R&B or New Jack Swing, but just legends in music because they've worked with everyone and I admire them greatly and I notice a lot with the songs that I enjoy by them, they use a lot of Seventh, seventh chords, and I'm gonna show you how they use that seventh chord in a lot of their, in a lot of their songs. So I'm gonna be covering a couple songs, just playing them, but I'm gonna show you the uh, relationship and how the D flat major seventh chord is used in a lot of their songs. So uh, I'll just play a couple of their songs. And I'll be using the D flat major and also F minor and E flat major chords that fall within the D flat major scale. So uh, here we go. So a lot of A flat major, or you know, if you had an A flat major suspended, make it a, a D flat. But the point is, they use a lot of uh, flattened chords, which I like. So we're going to go into transitions now. I'm going to show you the transition points and how to play those songs. This isn't a tutorial for learning the songs per se, uh, but if you're able to pick up on the chords quickly, that's fine. And if if you're unable to pick up the chords, I will write them down as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to start. So if you want to have an old school uh, style or you want to do like an old school set for keyboard or piano, you could start with uh, Tender Love, which is in D, fl uh, D flat major. So it goes into an F major right or F minor right here at F minor seventh. Now you can use that to go into a new edition. So you want to have new edition uh, Tender Force MCs and Boys to Men uh, and Janet Jackson too. That nice even level, uh, same type of genre. This is a perfect way to play it. So you're playing this uh, Tender Love. Mm -hmm. 
So you know you, you go through your transitions and your your improv with that song, and then you want to stop on the F minor, because that goes right into "Can You Stand the Rain" by uh, New Edition. Okay. Once again, I use this, that progression is pretty simple. It's an F minor to a D flat major and E flat minor or E flat major. Again, a D flat major and F minor relationship. It's very strong in all their songs. So you know, uh, you go from tender love and then a uh, new addition. And then from there, you could transfer over to on bended knee. Now, I didn't play the whole song, but that's the main gist of it, because I'm just showing transition points. So, you could play that. flat major here and you're saying oh no that's a problem because you know you know you're figuring you have to play D flat major that's not the case after you play the D flat major you can go to come back to me by Janet because a D flat major or a flat major is also in a D flat major chord D flat major and F minor relationship is very strong in this song as well. So you can really transition in and in and out of these songs once you know theory, or if you're familiar with theory about chords or about harmonies, I should say. So you can mix and match however you want. So if you want to go start off with on bed and knee. to the come back to me So the possibilities are, are, you know, they're out there. Play around with these chords. I'll name the chord groupings uh, at the end of this tutorial, and just practice these these progressions and these transitions. Uh, the songs I do have are are in my library on on YouTube, so you can review them. And that's pretty much it. It's just an interesting concept I like to throw out there. Uh, it isn't a, a pure lesson. Uh, per se, in terms of breaking down uh, the notes, because I, I assume that people going into this one uh, are advanced enough to, to get the theory. If you're, you know, you're not comfortable with it, that's fine too. Uh, I leave plenty of documentation out there so you can see what is going on. But that's pretty much it, and thank you for watching the Transition Series. Thank you.